Hey Will, this is Sean. I just wanted to uh, kind of present the drawing to you. I just made a video, but it was too long to email, so I'm going to try and rush through this a little bit. Um, I wanted to point out how the mounding is. So basically this whole thing back here is all built up with dirt, starting from here. So here's the, this is where the dirt will start, right here. And then going up in the mound, this is how it will flow. So the next level of dirt will go like this. There's a little peninsula here and then it wraps around to that. So that puts the, the shade structure and the patio elevated slightly. So if we gave a value to each of these lines, maybe nine inches or something like that, that would be how the vertical representation of the mounting works. So the third line would be here, kind of leaving the grass like gradual uphill, then flat up on top, and then a little bit back down to this peninsula or you know, cruise over to the bridge, whatever. And then this would be pretty flat here. Then the third line would be like this. And then the fourth line is here. And so you can see that these three lines are very close together. So that means it's really steep. And so this will be kind of a waterfall effect here. And then the creek will sort of follow that second line and then trickle down into the pond. So we've got, you know, bridge, bridge, and then, you know, your walkway to the elevated shade structure and patio space. Then I kind of wanted to point out that we got two planters here one really small one so you got this access still for the bridges but you got so in, in this one area we got a queen palm you know a, a mid so the queen palms are about 20 feet uh, tall at mature height this guy represents which is the same as this guy and these guys represents a, a mid-sized palm those are like your Mediterranean fan palms your Phoenix Robolinis that type of stuff and then this color circle which is also like this and this and that and, and this and that those are your lower growing palms like your sago palms and uh, your cycads so like in this planter we got one queen palm two of the mid-sized palms and two of the smaller palms in this small planter so it kind of like hides areas and it really creates different nooks and crannies but that's really what I'm filling this entire thing with is just a palm frenzy this whole backdrop and you know tall medium small just the whole thing is in palms. So it makes maintenance really easy, fertilizing, taking care of it, there's no litter, and then having this beautiful grass across the whole area. Okay, hope I made it in time on the video, but um, just wanted to present that to you. Thanks, bye.